Are you dull? Don't worry, you're in good company. 17% of WoW's population is dull. So let me tell you about human. Human have no distinguishing characteristics, which is perfect if you're insecure about playing an online fantasy role-playing game and would feel nerdy rolling any other race. Come and fight alongside other bland characters and talk about lifting weights IRL, plus the only reason you really play this game is like irony bro. Now in Cataclysm, you can roll Hunter, the dullest class of them all. Order now and also receive Anti-Troll, a fragrance guaranteed to repel good players and any female within 10 miles. Roll human today. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tol Biscuit of the WoW Podcast, Blue Please on CynicalBrit.com. I'm going to show you some of the human starting area from levels 1 to 5 and the changes that have been made to it. I'll also note some of the changes that have been made to the Warrior class. Now first things first. Annoyingly enough, this is a beta and things tend to go wrong. So, Varian Rin is supposed to be standing right there giving an inspirational speech saying, Hey, come and join the Alliance because we're fighting on the wrong side. But it's okay because I'm Varian Rin and I'm a complete bastard. But it's alright because we'll pay you, I suppose. Yeah, that works. And he'll actually say to you, You there, you know, young or old or whatever guy, you come fight with us. Yeah, you'll be good, blah, blah, blah. You sign up and he's like, excellent, you're signing up, that's great. And then rides off and that's it. And all of the Royal Stormwind Guard are standing around as opposed to getting involved in the war, which is probably why they're losing. Now, those guys have placeholder model marks underneath them, so that would indicate they're supposed to do something other than stand there, but it hasn't been implemented as of yet. This zone is marked as complete, or at least ready for testing, on the list that Blizzard put out. Now, in regards to the Gnome Starting Zone video that I did, there have been changes made in the patch that came out today, and I'm going to have a look at that. But what I've heard of so far is that the Dwarf Starting Area, which is what the Gnome Starting Area used to be, and it's going to move over to Gnomeregan, has not received all that many additions. So, at the moment, the video I put out of the Gnome Starting Area is pretty accurate for the Dwarf, so... A lot of work to be done there still, by the sounds of it. Right. So, first couple of quests that we have right here. Go slay some diseased timber wolves. These guys didn't used to be diseased. They are now. Bad things went down, apparently. The quest text doesn't tell you exactly uh, why they are sick, but I have to make the assumption that they ate some of Dibbler's meat pies. Whatever the case, we're going to get rid of them. So, generic kill quest to start us off. In fact, two generic kill quests. Kill some kobolds and kill some wolves. I'm going to start speeding up right here because this is going to take a little bit of time. While I'm doing so, I can explain to you some of the things that are going to be happening with low-level warriors, simply because they've changed the order in which you get certain skills. A very minor change is that currently you get Victory Rush at level 5 as opposed to level 6. The big change you'll notice on the bar is that you start off with Slam at level 1 as opposed to Heroic Strike. As to why they've done that, I am not all that certain. Bear in mind that Slam was a Fury ability in Wrath of the Lich King, acquired at level 30. So now you get it at level 1. It's one of the base warrior skills. You can expect to see some fairly major changes up until the end of the beta and into release for various things, particularly considering what's happened to the talents. Big changes came out with the talent system today, and also, as part of their design philosophy, they wanted to give you abilities that are core to the experience of playing that particular class fairly early on. Now, I don't really know if Slam is core to the experience of playing a warrior, but evidently they seem to think so. And Heroic Strike is certainly not available in the first five or six levels, so we'll see when they decide to bring that in. Right, I am mighty and have slaughtered those kobolds with great merriment and, well, a lot of violence and swordplay mostly, but merriment was involved. I'm wearing a chainmail vest, which of course makes me look very manly, very trustable. And I'm still not done. Oh, God. The annoying thing is that you can end up killing the wrong mobs that after a very specific kind of kobold. And guess what they ask you to do after that? Yes, indeed. Kill the other type of kobold. Then kill another type of kobold. I suppose it wouldn't be the starting zone of the humans without kobolds, would it? But really. I, this zone is slightly better than what we've seen of the Don Morrow zone for dwarves. It's not amazing, but there are some changes. You'll have seen over there 
The vineyard is on fire, and that's where most of the big changes within the zone lie. Aside from that, instead of killing normal wolves, it's killing wolves with diseases. And slightly different named kobolds in certain places. But you do have to go into the mine and kill kobolds there, as you might imagine. Another minor change to the way the warrior is leveled is that charge is now acquired at a slightly earlier level. Three as opposed to four. This does at least help liven up this area, because combat can be... A little dull when you don't have a lot of skills, particularly as a warrior, because all you're really now doing is spamming slam. So at least now you can charge in and hit your slam, and then of course when you get your victory rush at level 5, you can charge in, hit your victory rush if you've killed something, and then spam your slam. It's all good. Investigate Echo Ridge, yes indeed. Go find more freaking kobolds. This area is marked as ready for testing. So I assume that most of these quests are complete. There have been minor changes, as you can see. And this quest is completely new, as is this one. The Defias have been driven out of this area. But unfortunately for these fellows, the Blackrock Orcs have come in and stolen all the grapes. I'd like to say I was kidding. New model on the back of the character there. It's a fire extinguisher, although I don't know where the hose is. How effective that is. Right, well, at least they've still got this little quest here, whereby you go and talk to the trainer. That's something that's at least missing from the gnome area in Dunmorrow pre-patch. I believe Gnome Regan is now enabled, so we can take a second look at that, and I didn't get to try the dwarf, so I don't know if you get properly pointed there, but this is the old way of pointing you in the right direction. Gives you the letter, then gives you a quest to learn a skill. So, a nice bit of tutorial work here. I would like, honestly, to see more tutorial work in terms of things like combat rotations and priority orders. It's the kind of thing that is good to get into very early as a new player, because you start to understand the underlying combat mechanics of the game. For instance, if I were a new player, I would have a look at my bar when I was level 1, and I would see a sword, and I would see slam. And I would think maybe that hitting the one key repeatedly was a good idea, and it's not, because, of course, that just toggles auto-attack on and off. It would be nice if we had a little bit of tutorial in here, and maybe it will be. Maybe this will come in, because little tutorial pop-ups aren't happening in the beta at present. If it pops up and says, hey, this is your auto-attack and this is your slam, it's a good idea to use slam whenever you've got the rage for it, and hey, here's charge. Now, here you can see they teach you how to use charge. They show you directly what charge does. So anyone can really figure that one out. But also when you get Victory Rush, for instance... An explanation with each ability, not necessarily giving a quest for each one to say, hey, go do this, but saying, hey, this is Victory Rush, and it's a good time to use this after a charge, and then go into a slam, and that's a nice priority order for your attacks as a low-level warrior, and people can build their knowledge from there, and hopefully be better players by the time they reach max level, so I won't end up grouping with scrubs in LFG. That would be wonderful. I really don't think you need to see the majority of the kobold slaying, honestly. Yes, hit with sword, falls over, loot, rinse, repeat. It's to be expected that there's going to be kill quests like this, although I think the troll area has done a better job of varying those up. And here it's just kill kobolds, kill slightly bigger kobolds, kill even bigger kobolds that are a longer run from the area that you're supposed to be in. It's not that great. Get him out of the way, and then I can show you what's happened to that poor old vineyard. It's not great. You will notice, and you'll have seen this in the Gnome Starting Zone video as well, that they've given us proper capes, finally. I must say I do appreciate that, because it wasn't looking all that great to be running around with what looked like a piece of torn curtain on my back. Right, oh dear vineyard, what happened to you? Well, the Blackrock Orcs happened to you, apparently. They've stolen all the grapes. What can we do? So we're going to engage these guys, get them out of the way. Each of these has a 100% chance of dropping a black rock weapon, which we need to take back to uh, the fellow at the front there. And while we're here, we've got to put out some fires using the fire extinguisher, which is what I like to call a magic wand quest. What's a magic wand quest? A magic wand quest is where you use an item to do something that would otherwise be impossible for your character to do. So... 
It was named after the quest in the Howling Field, where you got a magic wand that has a hundred yard range. So it's something out of the ordinary, used as sort of a contrivance to allow you to complete a quest that isn't simply kill everything here, blah blah blah, or some of the more traditional stuff. Alright. Now, we'll get these out of the way, and then we'll see about putting these fires out. These guys actually do take damage if you run them through the fire, although it's not all that significant. I've seen them be hit by it before. Using the fire extinguisher really requires you to not be being hit by a giant mallet. Should surprise people. Let's get this dealt with. There we go. Concentrate on it for a few seconds, and it's gone. That's the theme of the zone, really. But bear in mind that it's a little bit of a pain. These guys are hostile as opposed to a lot of the other mobs in the zone which are neutral and you can just go beat on them. They will go for you if they've got a fairly large aggro range and I wouldn't recommend pulling too many as you will see in just a moment. I do like the little quote that's coming up right here. It makes me grin inside like an evil hoardy that I am. All your grapes are gone. It's indeed... Shall fail over the lack of grapes. Your supply lines are broken. Alright, well, nothing else to really see in this area, so I suppose we should just finish it off as quickly as possible. While it might not be the most thrilling starting zone, it's fairly solid. My concern, really, with a starting zone like this would have to be is it one, engaging to new players? Is it two, useful to new players? Now, you want fun quests, stuff like the fire extinguisher stuff, that's pretty neat. The fact that you've got to fight a bunch of black rock orcs and die horribly because I can't get away. I'll just teleport past that, there we go. Nothing to see here. Are you taught how to play this game well by the starting area? Does it teach you how to use the combat system, how mobs work, how questing works, that kind of thing? Yes, honestly it does. I don't think it provides the epic feel and satisfaction of the troll starting zone, and it certainly doesn't have an awful lot of variety. But it d you don't really have to throw everything at the player in the first five levels. Perhaps the amount of variety in the troll starting zone, as much as I like it, is maybe a little bit too much. I don't see the harm in spreading it out, because we're talking about the first half an hour of play, so why throw all your gimmicks at the player in the first half an hour and just provide something that's solid, enjoyable, nothing crazy. And maybe there's a couple of quests that are unusual, like the fire extinguishing and all that kind of thing. But you don't need to blow people away instantly. What actually disappointed me is that I end up doing this quest right here, finishing off the whole orc thing, go kill the big boss orc, and after that... They're supposed to be sending in soldiers to clear the area out. They don't do that. The area doesn't phase, and the soldiers don't go in. There is no scripted event, and the Black Rock Orcs don't disappear from this area. There doesn't appear to be any recovery effort. Now, that to me is disappointing, because we've seen with the Wargun starting area, and of course to some degree the Goblin, that they can use phasing to great effect in terms of telling the story and showing you how your actions affect the world, even if it's an illusion. In this case, they don't bother to use that. Maybe it's just unfinished, but then again, they did mark it down that it was ready for testing. The odd thing about this zone is that it's a zone of two parts. Firstly, you've got this zone right here that's different, it's dynamic, and it fits in with the theme of Cataclysm. All-out warfare between Alliance and Horde, destruction, death, all that nasty stuff. On the other hand, you've then got the Kobold quest and the Wolf quest, which are almost identical to what we saw in Vanilla. Both of these quests serve exactly the same purpose, which is why I don't think having both of them in the starting zone makes a lot of sense. It's a massive amount of redundancy, more so than anything else. One of these lines of quests has you going to clear out the orcs from the vineyard, put out the fires, and rescue the area from an incursion, whereas the other one has you going to kill kobolds over and over again. Now, one of those quests already tells you and gives you the opportunity to practice your combat skills. So why exactly within the starting zone that should be considered to be a tutorial for new players would you then have a quest line that is the same 
only more boring. I can't really figure that one out. Again, redundancy is going to be an issue in MMOs. You're going to have quests that are the same thing with a different mob or a different drop or a different exploration point, whatever. You're going to get that. But why would you not simply show something a little bit different? I mean, where's the discovery quest, for instance? Why do you, don't you go and scout this mine? I mean, there's been plenty of mine scouting things available in vanilla, so why don't you go scout it and maybe locate some drops? There's nothing of the sort. There's nothing on the floor to say, pick up something there. It's just do the same thing over and over again. This would be a great time to show people the five Ds. Defend, destroy, discover, drop, and deliver. Whereas here, you've got destroy, you've got drop, and that would be about it, really, wouldn't it? Perhaps it's unfair to expect massive changes in every single starting zone, but if their goal is player retention as well as getting people to roll alts, I feel that people are going to be going towards worgen, troll, and goblin as opposed to human based on this starting zone. It's not a bad starting zone, it's just nothing special yet. We'll see what they do with the rest of the beta and whether or not they are able to improve this even more. My name's been Total Biscuit, and this has been a look at Human 1 to 5. I'll see you next time.